Yo, what is up? Today's show is sponsored by Solar Bat Sunglasses. Solar Bat Sunglasses have some of the coolest sunglasses on the market. They are made by optometrists for fishermen like you and me. They don't glare in the live scope or the screen. The Mossback Green style lens is a proprietary lens that they make. Polarize the whole nine. Check them out, solarbat.com. Today we're going to be talking about the crappie spawn. It's coming up quick, y'all. It's coming up quick. We're going to be geeking out on all the details as to what the crappie species does during the spawn. Roll that intro. So crappies usually start to spawn anywhere from March to May, and it's based on water temp. What water temp, Rick? Typically, it's going to be around 62 to 65 degrees here in the Midwest. And what happens is the males tend to move up into the shallower water. Now, not always. Black crappie tend to go a little more shallower than the white crappie. White crappie will stay on some vegetation and even spawn in a little more of a deeper water scenario. But most of the blacks move in pretty shallow. Kind of hard to film in here staying around. Black crappies also tend to move in a little bit sooner than the white crappie species. So right when that water tends to be 62, black crappies tend to move in shallow, and a couple degrees later, you'll see white crappies tend to follow in. What happens is the males, the smaller fish, will actually come into the shallows first, and they'll fan up and almost prepare the bed, for lack of better terms. Now, they don't make a bed like a bass or a bluegill does, but they will fan around and kind of fan the brush or the structure around just to kind of prepare the area for good adhesion of the egg. The eggs itself have a sticky coating on it, and so when they're uh, dropped, let's say, by the female, crappies, uh, they end up sticking to the structure and are guarded by the males until they hatch. Now, obviously, we skipped a little step there. The female crappies will then release the egg. The male crappies usually fan next to them, and what happens is they get fertilized. Hey, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. The males will then remain to guard the eggs until they hatch. If you've noticed in the past, both white and black crappie will tend to darken up, putting the tuxedo on. Matter of fact, if you don't mind, comment below, tuxedo. Thanks, we appreciate that. But what that means is their actual pigment of the skin becomes darker. Now there's a couple theories out there as to how that could happen, and I'll cover all three. One is oxygen. Much like you and I, when we're straining, we'll try to like hold our breath, and next thing you know, we turn like reddish or darkish. <laughs> So that could be one reason. They're adjusting oxygen levels in their body and they're starting to darken up as a result. Another theory is called a capillary muscle adjustment. And what they're doing is they're basically adjusting the muscle tension in their body and almost like a balloon where like the softer it is, the harder or darker color is. But when they stretch it out, it becomes lighter. So you can almost see through it as it becomes more stretchy. Whoops. <laughs> so they could be like adjusting the tension of their muscles and that's what could be causing them to turn black as well. Pretty interesting. And the last one is a hormone level adjustment. So just literally a chemical in their body where they're secreting more, you know, they're uh, pretty happy, let's say. And the hormones could be a direct result in changing the pigment of the skin. Now, where can you find the crappies when they're spawning? I'm gonna give you a little cheat code that I found out here in the Midwest that helps me locate the crappies all the time. When that water tends to hit 62 degrees, those black crappie come in and we'll hit the cattails. Yup. The cattails. Cattails tend to grow in a sandy and almost a fine gravel type media. So the same media or the same gravelly bottom that cattails grow in, crappie love to spawn. Anytime you see cattails like this, you're gonna wanna target those early season when that water temp gets about 62 to 65 degrees. More than likely, you're gonna find those crappie in there fanning around the bottom of the cattails and getting ready for the females to join them. If you catch it at the right time too, you'll get the females in there as well. What I like to do in the cattails is I like to fish a real small profile bait. Much like a reaction strike bait, you're not really getting them to eat per se, you're getting them to react. They're not really in the mood to eat most of the time when they're spawning. They got one thing in mind. Ow, chicka, wow, wow but they will react. Much like my theory with a reaction strike bait, rather than throw a two inch bait, reduce it down to something like a one inch bait, and I think you'll see we get a lot more reaction strikes during the spawn on a one inch bait. Something like a micro cicada or a micro duster would be perfect, or even a Xeno. I'll put links for those products down in the description if you wish to stock up. Another thing too is we don't really cast for them as much during this time. We do more what's called dipping, and I like to go and get a cane pole and not really cast at all. Literally all you're doing is you're just tying enough line so that it is the length of your rod or line 
less, and you're dipping it into the spot in the cattails, waiting for the hit, the reaction strike, and literally lifting them right out. How many of you have uh, had that kind of fun? Comment below. Last year, we had a 600 plus fish day live on TikTok doing the same thing. That's fun stuff. Another great reel for this is the Swacker reel. We actually sell these on our website. They're one of our partners made by Double Seat. And this is a vertical fishing reel or even a pitching reel. And what it does is it allows you to very easily let the bait drop with just a squeeze of a button and you don't have to cast it. The weight of the bait actually does the drop. You can adjust the drop with a magnetic spool tension knob on the back. Then you got your fighting drag when you hook the big one. But I would use this reel in that dipping situation. I'd pull the trigger, allow the bait to drop to my desired depth or even strip off enough line and dip it right in that spot. Another tip too is the distance of the line between your bait and the tip of the rod. You want to reduce that when you're getting to that spot in the cattails. So what I like to do is literally pull the line all the way until the bait hits the tip of the line, direct it to my spot, get into the cattails, and then use my hand to lower the line to the fish. You're less likely to hang up on the cattails that way. Hey, I hope that was useful for you. If you want to watch other videos, go ahead and click that video right there. If you want to watch our most recent video, we got one right here. If you wish to subscribe, click that little round button right there. We appreciate you watching. Click that thumbs up, share it with your favorite friend, and we will see you on the next one. Woo! Ho -ho.